Hi and welcome to Aviation and Air Traffic Controller Keep Educating Yourself series. Hope you all are keeping good health. This lecture is about Global Navigation Satellite System. Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS, is a general term describing any satellite constellation that provides positioning, navigation, and timing services on a global or regional basis. The USA's NAVSTAR Global Positioning System is a military system that became fully operational for worldwide civilian use in 1995. Designed around a network of 24 medium Earth orbit satellites. Since 2000, GPS signals will not be degraded intentionally for U.S. security reasons in order to make GPS more responsive to civil and commercial uses worldwide. GLONASS is owned and operated by the Russian Federation. The fully operational system consists of 24 plus satellites. Bidu Navigation Satellite System is a regional GNSS owned and operated by the People's Republic of China. It was previously called Compass. Galileo is a global GNSS owned and operated by the European Union. Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. It is a regional GNSS owned and operated by the government of India. It is renamed as Navic, meaning sailor or navigator. Quasi Zenith Satellite System. It is a regional GNSS owned by the government of Japan. How does GPS work? The triangulation method. The basic principle in GPS is to determine a point means position in space. This is done by measurement of triangles. In practice, this involves determining the distances to at least three GPS satellites from the user's GPS receiver. When one distance is known, the user must be located on the surface of a sphere with the satellite at the center and with a radius equal to this distance. With two distances, the location must be on a circle. With three distances known, two points are possible. The one which is far out in space and can be eliminated. Thus, the point in space has been determined. GPS architecture is comprised of three segments, a GPS space segment, a GPS ground control segment, and a GPS user segment. Space segment. The GPS space segment transmit radio navigation signals, stores and retransmits the navigation message sent by the GPS control segment. The GPS space segment consists of a constellation of satellites transmitting radio signals to users. GPS satellites fly in medium Earth orbit MAO at an altitude of approximately 20,000 kilometers. Each satellite circles the Earth twice a day. The satellites in the GPS constellation are arranged into six equally spaced orbital planes surrounding the Earth. Each plane contains four slots occupied by baseline satellites. This 24 slot arrangement ensures users can view at least six satellites from virtually any point on the planet. GPS signal structure. GPS satellite transmits right hand circularly polarized signals to the Earth at two frequencies designated L1 and L2. GPS can operate in two different modes. SPS standard positioning service, a positioning and timing service provided on L1 frequency for civil users with a less accurate positioning capability than PPS. PPS precise positioning service uses both L1 and L2 frequencies for authorized users such as military. Navigation message it is consists of five subframes of 1500 bits transmitted at 50 bits per second. The navigation message contains almanac data, ephemeris, satellite clock correction parameters, UTC, universal time coordination parameters, and satellite health data. Course acquisition, CA code. It is the ranging code used by the GPS receiver to measure distance to the satellite also called the Standard Positioning Service, SPS. The CA code is a pseudorandom number, PRN, transmitted every millisecond. The PRN is unique to each satellite, and all the PRNs are stored in GPS receiver memory. The receiver isolates any given satellite's transmission by multiplying the incoming L1 signal by that satellite's PRN, 
at different time shift intervals within the one millisecond sequence until it finds a match or lock on. It can thus filter out all the other satellites from the L1 frequency and use the time shift required for lock on to calculate the satellite's range and also extract the navigation. The navigation message is encoded onto the CA code and the CA is then modulated onto a carrier frequency of 1575.42 MHz called L1 and GPS signal is broadcasted. Future enhancements of GPS. The P or precise code is a 10,230 bit Swedo random number. It is a 10 times more accurate version of the CA code. Normally, the P code is encrypted by Y code, creating the 10.23 MHz P Y signal, which can only be decrypted by military users, known as the Precise Positioning Service PPS. The encryption is an anti-spoofing technique, which provides some assurance that the signal received is not being sent by a non-GPS spoofing transmitter. The CA code is potentially vulnerable to such spoofing. New signals are being implemented progressively by new satellite launches. L1C will be compatible with existing receivers and include better interoperability with other GNSS systems. L2C is the more accurate version for civilian GPS signal and allows civilian ionospheric compensation through comparison of L1C and L2C signals. The M code is the improved military signal. The L5, safety of life, signal is specifically for civil aviation use and is transmitted in the protected aeronautical radio navigation services band. GPS ground control segment. It is composed of a master control station, a network of monitor stations and ground antennas which upload the clock and orbit errors. The current operational control segment includes a master control station, an alternate master control station, 11 command and control antennas, and 16 monitoring sites. The main tasks of the control segment are managing SPS standard positioning system performance, navigation data upload, monitoring satellites, user segment. GPS user segment consists on the millions of receivers performing the navigation, timing or other related functions. GPS supplies three-dimensional position fixes and speed data, plus a precise time reference. A GPS receiver is able to determine the distance to a satellite by determining the difference between the time of transmission by satellite and the time of reception. The initial distance calculated to the satellites is called pseudo range as it is biased by the lack of time synchronization between gps satellite and receiver clocks in addition the pseudo range is also biased by other effects such as ionosphere troposphere and signal noise when the gps receiver is started up its internal or local clock will be inaccurate by an unknown error called clock bias or offset compared to the reference gps time the first stage of the navigation problem is to calculate pseudoranges from the visible satellites to the GPS, ignoring the local clock offset. These ranges are pseudo because they are all known to be wrong by the same local clock error. For any given satellite, the receiver generates the satellite's PRN code internally based on its code book. The internal PRN code is then time shifted until it matches, locks on to the PRN code signal from the satellite. This time shift, or offset, is the pseudo elapsed time between transmission and the reception time of arrival. The receiver then uses the ephemeris orbital data in each satellite's navigation message to establish the satellite's position in space at the time of the pseudo range calculation. With four satellite positions known and four pseudoranges calculated, the navigation problem can be expressed as four equations with four unknowns, the unknowns being the X, Y, Z position of the receiver and T, the clock bias error. The receiver calculates a solution to these equations and establishes a position fix. When more than four satellites are available, modern receivers use various other algorithms to provide a better fix. What is WGS84? 
Geodesy, or geodetics, is the science concerned with the study of the geometric shape and size of the Earth. It defines the coordinate systems and references used in surveying, mapping, and navigation. Typically, such systems have three elements. A. Cartesian, reference or datum, defining the origin as the center of the Earth's mass and the X, Y, Z axes in terms of polar, equatorial and prime meridian planes. WGS84 was selected as the datum for the GPS system and is now a fixed standard. In 1989, ICAO adopted WGS84 as the standard aviation geodetic reference system. Aviation GPS receivers establish the aircraft's position in terms of the WGS-84 datum. The aircraft position is then used as the reference for the GPS navigation and map display. GPS integrity. Principles of RAIM. Receiver autonomous integrity monitoring provides integrity over GPS-only navigation. It is a technique whereby a receiver processor determines the integrity of the navigation signals. RAIM is achieved by consistency check among pseudo range measurements when a sufficient number of satellites is tracked by the receiver, individual faulty pseudo ranges can be isolated. When the GPS receiver is fed with barometric altitude, the number of satellites needed for the receiver to perform RAIM function may be reduced by one. If RAIM is available, the GNSS receiver can assure the integrity of its calculated position within a specified protection limit, 4 nanometer for oceanic, 2 nanometer for en route, 1 nanometer for terminal and 0.3 nanometer for RNP approaches. GNSS receivers require a minimum of four satellites to establish a 3D position fix. However, if a satellite develops a fault and broadcasts an inaccurate signal, this could result in an incorrect position solution. A fifth satellite provides a GNSS receiver with the capability for fault detection FD. The receiver can recognize that a satellite is faulty because the five range spheres don't all intersect at a consistent point, but because any combination of four satellites might provide a valid solution, it can not always identify which satellite is faulty. A sixth satellite provides a GNSS receiver with the capability for fault detection and exclusion FDE. The receiver can identify and isolate the faulty satellite by finding which combination of five satellites will provide a self-consistent and valid navigation solution and excluding the sixth satellite. Errors and factors affecting accuracy ionospheric propagation delay. It constitutes the most significant error. It can achieve several tens of meters. It can be almost eliminated if using two frequencies as this is the main reason why GPS PPS is today more precise than SPS. PPS is using both L1 and L2. In GPS SPS receivers, ionospheric propagation delay is currently corrected by using a ionospheric model contained in the navigation message. However, the error is only reduced by 50%. Dilution of precision arises from the geometry and number of satellites in view. It is called the position dilution of precision. The errors in the satellite and receiver clocks and orbits. Satellites are mainly drifted out of their orbits due to solar winds, radiation pressure, and gravitation effects of the sun moon and planets. Multipath, when the signal arrives at the receiver via more than one path. The signal is reflected from surfaces near the receiver. Thanks for watching, next video in continuation will be on augmentation system. For more such informative videos don't forget to subscribe this channel.